trying to think, because uh, I walked in here when the last time I was in this room, I was trying to figure out if I even knew this room existed. And I realized that's the last time and the only time I was ever in this particular room is when uh, Jason Hansen announced his retirement. But uh, it's great to be back in Detroit. Uh, it's great. To, thank you to the Lions organization. Thank you to the Quick Lane Bowl. We were very, very excited to be playing in Detroit. Uh, you know, a little perspective. Uh, you know, this past week, we, we knew we were going bowling. We didn't know where. There was about four different locations that were being tossed around where we could end up. And, uh, you know, I started to take some informal polls with some of our senior football players. Uh, it's no secret, 75% of our team, is, of our roster is all Michigan kids. And, you know, we were looking at warm weather locations, and that's where it's ended. But I was, I was pleasantly surprised the number of uh, players on our roster that had Detroit being their first choice. Uh, it's important to be able to play in front of friends and family. Uh, that's one of the things that our program is built on is family. Uh, we're really tremendously excited to have this opportunity to play a quality opponent like the University of Minnesota, a Big Ten team. Uh, it's one of the ways we try to measure ourselves. Uh, we want to measure ourselves against the very best. And certainly uh, what Minnesota has been able to accomplish this season under very, very difficult circumstances. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a parallel to what we've gone through. Our team has gone through a tremendous amount of uh, adversity this year. Great to see him, uh, you know, doing well, which I know he is. Uh, have an opportunity to go back and coach your alma mater, Coach Bush. And uh, that's really been special for John. That's also special for Linda Harry to be the first time. When he announced the rig cancer, how did you react to I assume you reached out to him. Um, you, you know, that's a private matter. You know, uh, and, and I, you know, we certainly had a battle with that. We've been talking to John about those issues, and uh, but nevertheless, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful, and uh, uh, you know, we prayed for him, et cetera, and uh, you know, we had a good day. He's a battler, uh, one of no pity, and uh, you know, did a great job coming through and leading his team in that particular time. There is a tremendous amount of, uh, you know, situation management that you have to. You know, the direct relates directly to head coach, but you know, not just clock management. You know, that's important to that, important to that, but also, also situations. You know, and so, um, I think maybe more so than, than any other position coach, that posi that particular role has a tremendous amount of parallels between uh, between our team. We were all friends. We've been together so long, our families and all that, and so. Uh, to not hit, have him around every day, it, even for the players, I mean, it's like losing a good friend. And um, so, at the same time, is is that uh, he did what was best for him and, and needed to be done for him and his family, and, and we all understand that and wish him nothing but the best. And but he'll always be a part of the way we do things and and and, and how we play at the University of Minnesota.